Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix man eat your game not launching, not opening, won't start, unable to open error on PC. So let's go through the methods. So the very first method is to restart your PC. For that, click on the Windows icon over here. Now click on power and then select restart. So this will restart your PC. After your PC restarts, now launch the game and check if it's working. If not, next method is to modify launch option. So for that, go to Steam. Under library section, select your game. Here I am showing you an example. Now right click on it. Click on properties. Now under general. Here you have to type minus DX11 and then launch the game and check if it's working. If not, again come back, type minus DX12 and then try to launch the game and check if you can play it. If the issue still occurs, again come back, remove the launch option and move to the next method. Next method is to verify integrity of game files. For that, go to Steam, under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties, now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. So this will take some time, wait for it and after the game files are verified, now launch the game and check. If not, next is to update graphics card. So for that, go to the Windows search. Now search for device manager. Here you have to expand display adapter, select your graphics card, right click on it, click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. So this will check and update your graphics drivers. Now once the graphics drivers are updated, try to launch the game and check. Nvidia and AMD users go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there. Next solution is to run game as administrator. So Steam users go to Steam. Under library section select your game. Right click on it. Click on manage. Now click on browse local files. Now this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed. Here you have to select the game. Right click on it. Click on properties. Click on compatibility. And select run this program as an administrator. Click on apply and ok. And then launch the game and check if it's working. If not, again come back. Select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 click on apply and ok and then launch the game and check if this also doesn't resolve the issue again come back select disable full screen optimization hit on apply and ok and launch the game and check if it's working now if the same is issue still occurs come back uncheck all of these hit on apply and ok and then move to the next method well the next method is to allow man eater game through firewall for that, go to the Windows search, search for Windows security. Now, here you have to click on firewall network protection, click on allow an app through firewall. Now, click on change settings. Now, after that, here you have to search for the game, whether it's listed or not. If not, click on allow another app, click on browse, go to the game folder where your game has been installed, select the game application, add the game to the list over here. Now, after adding it, select the game, make sure both private and public boxes are ticked. Click on OK and then launch the game and check if it's working now. If not, next method is to check graphic settings of the game. So when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution, then it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues. So you are suggested to set the display mode to full screen and turn VSync off and if available cap refresh rate or max FPS at 60. So make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphics settings and then try to launch the game and check if you can play it. If not, next method is to clear download caches. So for that Steam users, go to Steam, click on Steam option, click on settings. Now go below, click on downloads and after that go below here you can see clear download cache and beside it you can see clear cache options. Click on it and it will say that this will clear your local download cache and restart Steam. You will need to log into Steam again. So you have to confirm it. Now after confirming it, log into Steam once again and then try to launch the game and click on the play button to check whether you can play it. If not, next method is to stop overclock CPU and GPU settings. So sometimes overclocking makes the CPU or GPU unstable. So you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of CPU or GPU in the background. This will help you to fix the issue. Next solution is to disable in-game overlays. So first Steam users go to Steam, click on Steam option, click on settings. Click on in-game and here you have to check if enable the steam overlay while in game option is enabled or disabled. If it is enabled, you have to click on it to disable it and after that launch the game. Same thing for GeForce Experience users. Open GeForce Experience, tap on gear icon beside username. Click on general and switch off in-game overlay options from here. 
For Discord overlay, go to the user settings, game overlay tab, and switch off enable in game overlay options from here. Next solution is to install Visual C++ files. So for that, I have already provided this link in the description. Just copy and paste it in your browser or even you can search for Visual C++ files on Google. Now after the website opens, go below. From here you have to click on the link to download Visual C++ files. Once it is downloaded, open it and you will get repair or install option. Whatever you get, click on it and you have to wait for some time. And once done close this and now restart your pc once now after restarting again log into the game and check if you can play it if not next method is to update windows so for that go to the windows search search for check for updates now this will take you to the windows update page here you have to click on check for updates option and it will check if there is any update available if yes update your windows to the latest version and then try to launch the game and check next method is to close background apps so for that go to the windows search now search for task manager now from the processes tab you have to check for those apps which are running in the background without any use you simply have to close them so for that select the app right click on it click on end task this will completely close the app from your system that is running in the background once done now launch the game and check if you can play it if not, next is to disable antivirus program. So if there is any antivirus program installed on your system, you are suggested to disable it. This will help you to solve the crashing or other issues that you are coming across. Simply disable your antivirus program before you launch the game and then try to play it and see if it works for you. If not, then the final solution is to reinstall Man Eater game. So Steam users go to Steam. Under library section, select your game. Right click on it. Click on manage. Now click on uninstall. And finally click on uninstall option. This will completely remove the game from your PC. After that restart your PC once and once your PC restarts again launch Steam and reinstall Manator game and then click on the play button to check whether it's working or not.